Hey, I'm back. Okay, in what was a pretty embarrassing moment that I'm pretty sure left a lot of people very frustrated upon seeing my, me move around this town. I completely missed a certain house in the top left corner of the of the town. And as a result, I kind of miss this whole scene that has started to develop. But thankfully, I'm here now, so all's well that ends well, right? Oops. Oh, how embarrassing. My apologies, everyone. Yeah, naturally. Yes, now I remember. So we went to get that relic, and then we had to come all the way back to the Elder after we found it. And I forgot her name was Celez. A very interesting choice for a name, considering other famous RPG characters with the same name. I'm glad, Grandpappy. It's not often you speak to your relic. It means you're the chosen one, mate. That's good. It's good to be a savior. Ooh. Plot twist. You're the savior, but you're only the savior by killing everyone. Am I right? That's an idea. Oh, don't tell me I'll be able to rest for free, because I just went to the end a while ago, didn't I? Okay, I learned my lesson anyway, and I need to pay more attention to the game I'm playing while I'm let's playing. The problem is, concentrating on both recording a video and playing a game is not that easy. It really isn't. So you have to critically analyze each and every little thing, I did try and pay attention to the story as well, so it's uh it's not the easiest thing to do, let's play. It's not the easiest thing to do. Ah, the castle. Yes, the castle we need to go to. You know, I guess when you think about it. Do you remember that earlier bit where I was told I need to go to the castle? In essence, that's kind of a bug. Because I clearly did not have to go to the castle. I had to uh, return to this town and meet uh, the other once again after retrieving the relic. So, FIM, if you're watching, I think that is something you might want to address. Uh, to be more specific again, um, there is the fact that I was supposed to come back to the town, but I was told upon reaching a certain point on the map that I had to go to the castle, which clearly wasn't the case, so... Just one thing to keep in mind, it's not the worst thing in the world, but just something that, if corrected, would make everything a lot more professional, I would say. Anyway, back to the story, and it looks like the princess of Castle Verdan has been abducted. Vladimir! Of course it's Vladimir! What's his last name? Don't answer that question.
<laughs> you mean me? You mean her? I don't know. Ooh, big word. I like. Innocuous. Missing a full stop uh, in the previous message box, by the way, if I'm... Or Cafesis, the proofreader, if I remember. Princess Leifa? That sounds very similar to another famous RPG character. Uncanny. Good idea. The Zelda has clearly played RPGs before. Okay, calling us now, the other is gonna get killed by the Archangel. You heard it here first, kids. I tell you what, though, I am super glad I finally found out which way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> that was a very embarrassing eight minutes there, and I have to apologize for to anyone who feels that it was wasted time, because I can understand how you'd feel that. I, I really can. In the meantime, it looks like my equipment is a okay. One thing that I am interested in is when you look at the inventory, or items, there is nothing... Oh, no, no, no. I, I did find a wizard cell. I was going to say I didn't have any MP replenishing items, but I did pick up one. Now, let's see if this place actually sells it. I'm pretty sure that I won't because traditionally it is a very... Nope, it doesn't. Traditionally, it's a very common thing in RPGs to not sell any MP replenishing items. As to why this is, honestly, I couldn't tell you because I think um, it creates a certain annoyance for the player when they run out of MP a bit too fast. I mean, when you consider that, on the one hand, you have to fight battles strategically, and on the second hand, also have to conserve MP while going through a dungeon where you're not really sure what you're gonna face, right? So, it really, that kind of mechanic forces you to kind of see into the future when obviously it's such a thing is not possible, uh, well, not possible yet, who knows what might happen in the future, right? But currently you can't. So, I guess my point is, it would be nice to have games, not just this game, any game, selling MP restorative items, maybe at a higher price, just to make it, you know, not so easy to traverse a dungeon, but I'll at least sell them, I think, at least. At least sell MP replenishing items, yeah. Yeah, uh, I heard through the, through the grapevine. Oh, that sounds so cool, isn't it? Imagine that you go somewhere, right? And then you're like, ah, don't worry, chill, I got this, I got the savior. Damn! Crap, even his majesty knows you're the savior, yo. Vladimir. Probably not. Or probably did. I don't know. What's the most stereotypical thing? For the parents to know that the kid is a chosen one? Or for the parents to not know that the kid is a chosen one? Answers on the postcard. Ooh, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know, that kind of feels like an insult. The Elder could see into the future. Ah, oh, check out Mac and Blue out here. There's a reason Mac and Blue tell sets were used so much back in the day. 
the quality is just really unmatched in terms of original graphics for that era anyway. I mean, no, but still, I think it's timeless, yeah? Um, what just happened? Okay, that, that's very curious. Did I just go through this one thing? Um, oh dear, this is awkward. How did this happen? Unless I'm experiencing a case of deja vu, this scene is actually repeating itself. Now, I'm just going to continue one more time until I'm certain that uh, it is definitely a bug that's going to keep repeating until like the end of time. But it's very likely that this is a massive game breaking bug right here. Right, I am praying and hoping for the sake of myself and for the developers that this isn't the most game breaking bug on the planet. I don't mean to sound harsh right there, but. Yep, this is Celeste the Savior. No, I don't remember seeing this dialogue before, unless I'm, I just got completely sidetracked. So I think we've escaped that bug. But, if I am and all the other developers, please, please, please take note of what just happened, because that was weird. Where's Vladimir? This is Lifa, or is that Lifa? How do you pronounce that? And she's on a postcard. Is that how you spell a test? I think it is. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. Vladimir, how could you? Well, you see, you're kind of the savior. I mean, I don't know if you heard, but like, word on the street right now is that you're the savior. I've heard this track before, is this Sega Desetsu 3 again? Because this game seems to be using a lot of Sega Desetsu 3 music now. Which... Mm, I mean, I like the music, obviously. Like I said before, I think Hiroki Kikuta is a very, very talented composer. I'm not sure I agree with using his music, though. Even if it's been, like, redone a bit. I, I can't actually tell if it's been remade or anything like that. But I would still rather hear original music in a game, or very, very, very uncommon music in a game, than music from an RPG that many people who've played RPG Maker games uh, would, I mean, played, yeah, who've played RPG Maker games in the past would likely have heard already through playing one of the more classic RPGs, such as Seiken Etc. 3. Anyway, I really shouldn't be talking too much. So there's a cave in the south which Vladimir himself used. I think that's the cave that I was by when I was kind of lost. I do remember seeing a cave around south, southeastish. Glory to the Three Kings. Woo, yeah! Dude, chill. She's a savior. I like that line. 
conviction and the seeds of power. I like that. I mean, so far it's it's setting the scene fairly well. This game, I think. I mean, sure, it is very typical, but so far I haven't actually found the dialogue to be cringeworthy in any way, which is a big, big. It's a very big um, achievement in a game that's so full of tropes as this one seems to be so far. I mean, you you've got things like Celeste being a savior, right? But it, it doesn't come across as like the most cheesy thing on the planet. I have seen it much more cheesy than that. I have seen like over dramatic dialogue that just kind of invokes this whole thing about one person being the chosen one again and again. But this one kind of keeps it such that. Hold on, I actually want to read this. Right, okay, just a bit of side side dialogue there. Again, one thing I appreciate. But where was I talking? Yeah. So, so far the game hasn't really been melodramatic or anything, which is something that I do appreciate. It, it's got a very, very homely feel to it. And this has come across as something that thinks is much bigger than it actually is. I mean, it's still very early days, but this is kind of the impression that I'm getting. So it, it's, a, it's a good impression to get. Uh, and the dialogue by each of these characters, it, 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 it adds something to this whole world that's being built at the moment. Like, you've got this dialogue right here, you see, about Vlad's power and 13. The, the, this detail, this kind of detail, it, it, it's really good at kind of accentu accentuating characters when they're not necessarily at the forefront of the game at that very point in time. So, it is something that, uh, I guess, the more... I guess the less experienced story writers, dialogue writers should understand that it's important to have other people talk about a person as much, if not more, if not more, than um, other people than the person talking about themselves. That isn't how you spell treasure, though. So you're gonna wanna take a note of that. Whoa, 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 slow down, buddy. <laughs> What's your problem? Alright. Whoa, another one. Another very... <laughs> not very talked to person there. That's fair enough, man. You're just doing your job. I'm not going to bother you that much, you know? So it looks like all's good in the castle itself, it's just that we have a princess who's been kidnapped. That's not how you spell treasury again, can I just point that out please? I don't know why I said please though. I don't need to say please. And I'm sure they'll appreciate me pointing out the typos. You know, that's my thing, I mean... I wasn't born and raised in Britain, but... I have gone to English speaking schools most of my life, so I, I, think, I like to think anyway that I have a decent um, understanding of the English language. But your mileage may vary. Sounds like we have a sexist on our hands. <gasps> mm. I think the music's changed. No, it hasn't. It, it, it's very piano y. I don't recall it being the piano. Yes, I remember. So Arbitry Make 2000 had this one thing where the... I don't know, I think it's like the Harmony.dll acting up. It's one of the files that enables sound to be played or something like that. Um, every so often it kind of changes the way MIDI sounds, I think. So this could be what was happening. Because I remember back in the day getting this kind of thing like the music just sounded different out of the Yes, you hear that? That was entirely different. Oh, yes, while I'm here right now, guys, uh, as in the developers, there's something else you might want to keep and uh, to keep track of. It's the fact that escaping in this game doesn't seem to work very well, and I'll just give you a very slight demonstration now. 
So, say I've got the spot in front of me, right? And I'm going to escape. Naturally, sometimes you might not want to be fighting a battle. You might want to get to wherever you want to go. Okay, that one works fine. But I've been in instances where, say this for example, this is a perfect spot. Where I was kind of 90 degrees to an enemy. Now, if I try to escape, I am stuck. How do you fix this? Obviously, that's something for you guys to figure out. I mean, I could give you a couple of ideas if you like. Um, for instance, instead of the player having to move away, because I think that's what's going on right now, it's the player that does the moving away. Every so often, though, the player is going to get to such a position that when you when you do the move random event command in RPG Mech 2000, um, it might not move to a location that's far away from the monster. Therefore, uh, the monster being the other event, of course. So what you would want to do is have the monster to move away, I think, in most cases. And this might not necessarily be the most logical thing to do, but it usually works. Nine times out of ten, it's going to work. Uh, you could also have the playable character move at the same time. So you have the playable character moving away from the monster, the monster moving away from the playable character. That usually works. Rock thing is pretty tough. I guess when you have something called Doctor Rocks, which I'm guessing is quite a giant plus thing to do, <laughs> naming it such a thing, you don't want to be assaulting it physical attacks, do you? So yeah, we've entered a new area, it's a new dungeon, I guess it's like the second dungeon of the game, which is <laughs> what was that? Dude, I don't, I, I don't want any trouble, man. I just want to have some that good item you give us. Chill, bro. Excellent. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention. While I was not... While I was uh, re playing offline, i.e. not recording, I found this... Um, Relic in my inventory, and I'm guessing is this the thing that I retrieved before, or something like that? I don't know, but either way, I had this, and it wasn't equipped. Believe it or not, it actually was not equipped. Do I need to worry about sleeping at this point in time? I'm assuming I do, so I'm not going to equip the alarm clock just yet. This is a very good item in terms of beefing up my stats, and I'm keep it on for a while. And I don't want to fight each and every uh, enemy encounter because I know I don't really feel a kind of fast leveling up in this game. I don't think. I haven't really been paying attention to the leveling up, but so far I don't really think I've been exposed to that much leveling up. So, yeah. Anyway, another scene. I'm guessing this is another playable character because his name appears as Question mark, question mark, question mark, and then he'll introduce himself. And then he'll be this very hip, genki guy. Doesn't really look like a castle guard, does he? Maybe he's on a break or something. King's Damned. You got to say that. Oh, I get it because the three kings and ah, oh, oh, very nice. By His Majesty's request. Where is that from? That's just on the postcard. I say that way too much now. I always like that line, the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing. It's very applicable to a lot of things in life. Like my job, for example. I don't want to talk about my job in the game. Oh, 
before the other one. I've heard that before. Let me go with you. Ouch. To be fair, if you're called a saver, I'm going to see me pretty big stuff, so I don't know where Sandra's coming from. God! <laughs> Thank you. King's Grace. I like the world building in terms of insults or like expressions, if you know what I mean. Like not just saying God damn it or anything like that, it's it's not like King's Grace. It's a good touch. So it looks like we have a new character, a playable character as well. Sando. What's his first name? Damien? If you get the reference, I will love you for the rest of my life. You might well do. I don't judge. Right, this is very interesting. I'm guessing yes. Oops. Ah! Ah! I know what's happened. I'm trying to jump. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop the game because I have hit a bug that I don't think I can escape from. So, developers, you're going to want to take another note of a bug. First of all, number one, let me try escaping. Oh, come on. I'm trying to prove a point. No, I am stuck. Number one, I am stuck and I cannot escape. Right? That is number one. Number two will come after. So while we're here, we might as well see what Sandra can do. Currently, he can't really do much other than um, attack physically. Which, okay, uh, I'll, I'll let it slide, I think, but really, I would like to have some sort of buffs or debuffs at this point in the game, personally. Just that. Anyway, that isn't the real issue at hand. The real issue is going to show up as soon as I fight this thing. Now, I'm stuck. I, the player, cannot actually physically move my character away because I, the player, am trying to jump to the other side. At the same time, it looks like the monster on the other side is trying to jump as well. So what you have here is a bit of a clash. Really, in the computer science terms, we will call this a deadlock. Uh, that is exactly what has happened here. And as a result, I'm going to have to terminate play because I literally cannot move forward from this. This is a game-breaking bug. And uh, this could have serious ramifications for the player if they hadn't saved prior to this dungeon. But I'm assuming they would because it's common, it's the most obvious thing to do. Um, but yeah, personally, I think I'm going to stop recording at this point and then continue my let's play on another day. So, first of all, I would like to say, developers, again, please take note of any bugs that may have arisen as a result of my let's play. I hope this is informative to you and this is a really enjoyable experience for me so don't feel that you're putting me through hell by having me kind of let's play a game and finding these kind of bugs because it's very important that you guys also have a better understanding of what's really going on in a game through a player's perspective. I think this is absolutely important and I really commend you guys for stepping up and saying yeah we need to get someone to let's play this. So kudos for that and really I will try to help as much as I can. Um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. To anyone else watching Let's Play, again, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or critiques, you know where to find me. There are a number of places that you can find me. Number one, there's the RPGMaker.net forum. 
www.rpgmaker.net slash forum or forums, I don't actually remember. Uh, you can find me as a member, it's like called Yellow Magic. Uh, with, with a space in, in the middle between Yellow Magic, if I recall. I also have a forum there if you want to put any more Let's Play requests down. Currently I'm doing two Let's Plays, so it might take a while for me to get there. Um, but I, I, I would get to that next uh, couple of Let's Plays anyway, hopefully at some point in the near future. So yeah, that's one way you can contact me. There's also my Twitter, where I am at Yellow Magic, without the W between the yellow and the magic, and no spaces as well. And you can also finally find me on IRC. I am a channel operator on signirc.net. The channel is rpgmaker.net. Hashtag, because hashtags are cool now. Hashtag rpgmaker.net. So, that is it. That is how you can contact me in a nutshell. I hope you continue watching this. Um, because when I next resume, I'm going to be past this point, hopefully. I will get back to developers about this and we'll see what we can do to kind of fix this bug, have some kind of dialogue going. Um, but really, I would like to carry on with this game because I think I would be able to avoid it if I tried again. Um, so next time I resume... <coughs> sorry. Next time I resume, I'm going to have to be at this point. <coughs> oh dear. That's it. That's my voice gone. So until next time, this is Yellow Magic signing off. Sayonara.